You're very welcome back. We're throwing out one million tonnes of food in Ireland every year. And this pile that you see here is what the average family of five throws out each year. It's about 250 kilos, more than quarter of a ton. Now, Kevin Dundon is here. He's going to give us some tips in a moment on how not to waste food. But first, Odile Le, Le Bloc is here uh, from the EPA. You're very welcome. This Thank represents you. in weight what a family of five might throw away. But in terms of the content here, is this roughly what we'd be looking at? Yeah. Yeah, well, yes, we definitely, we throw away an awful lot of fruit and veg, things that go off quite quickly. Bread is actually the most wasted thing that people do throw away. So okay. it's something that we, we throw and you, away and a you're, lot of. You're trying to encourage people to look at what they do, but, but a lot of people think that they're urging on the side of caution when they're throwing items away that that might be going bad. Yeah, and actually uh, food passing, it's used by date, is actually the most um, reason that people say that they throw away food. And I think people don't realise, people understand to use by date very well. They know that you have to use food before that date. But what they don't realise maybe is that you can either eat your food before that date or pop it in the freezer is another way to keep it fresher for okay, longer. Okay, because, because I, I have often seen on, on packets, you know, freeze on day of purchase. But are, are you saying that you can actually freeze the item up until... Right the up use until by the date. use by date, yeah. And in fact, they are beginning to change the wording on packaging. It has been up until now this sort of freeze up on day of purchase, but now it's up until the use by date, as soon as possible. Um, once you buy it, oh. but freeze it up until the use by date. According to your own figures at the EPA, food production is causing a lot of food waste as well, isn't it? I mean, we're not all to blame in our homes. Yeah, no, we, you know, food is wasted all along the supply chain. And I think the key thing here is we're not pointing fingers at one particular uh, part, part of, of the, the country to, compared to another. But yes, there's food being wasted in the production sector. There's food being wasted in the food services sector. And there's food being wasted in our home. Now, when it comes to food in our homes and also in the uh, food services sector, that has the biggest impact on the environment because it's gone through the whole supply chain. All the resources that have gone into the food are also then wasted when you throw okay. away that and, waste. and that's one of the things that you want us to consider, the carbon emissions caused by food waste. Yeah, I think, you know, people, when they think about climate change and trying to reduce their impact on the environment, they don't actually think about food waste, but it's got a significant uh, contribution. It's about responsible for about 10% of global greenhouse gas emissions. So, in fact, reducing your food waste is one of the things we can do to reduce our mm. impact Not on the climate. Not to mention the amount it costs you in your pocket. Yeah, I know. We estimate it's about €700 Euro per household. It can vary from household to household. But So, not only are we reducing reducing our impact, but we're saving money as well. Okay, I'm going to be talking to Kevin about the, the freezing tips in just a moment, but any tips from yourself on how we can reduce waste in our household? Yeah, actually we do. We have some nice three tips for people to remember. We have um, use a shopping list and make sure that you stick to it. Um, we've also got use the food that you do buy and make sure that you don't forget your leftovers. And then if your plans change, because this happens regularly, use your freezer and freeze your food to make it uh, stay fresher for longer. Okay, we wanted to have a look um, at this poll here now. We wanted to ask the type of questions that you ask people and see if it tallies. We asked a thousand adults on our Amoric smartphone panel this question. How much of the food you buy do you think you throw out? So let's have a look at the results now. 69% say 10% or less of the food that they buy they throw away. 30% say 10 to 25% of the food they buy they throw away and just 1% say 50% or more. Odile, what do most of us do? Oh. Yeah, you know, we know that about a third of the food that we buy gets thrown away. A third people... of the food, isn't that unbelievable? <laughs> yeah. And we also know that people underestimate the amount of food that they throw away. And one of the key things we get, we ask people to do is actually just keep a list of what you do throw away for, for a week even, just to take note of it. And people are actually quite surprised. And even if you start to add a bit of monetary value to it, it helps you focus next time you're shopping I'm as well. I'm sure it would. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it would. A third is quite astonishing, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Odile, well, thank you very much for, for coming in to us. And I just want to tell people at home that the food here is distributed by Food Cloud. Inner City Helping Homelessness provided us with the non perishable goods, and Mead Potato Company provided the fruit and veg. And the good news is it will all be distributed to various charities after the show tonight. Now, I'm going